Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and in this video I'll show you guys how to use extensions. So when you have that opened, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do all Linux Mint. If you want to basically open it, just click over here. Now search up for extensions and open it up that way. Um, but in my case, I will just show you guys how to download um, extensions and how to install an extension and how to enable for extension and how to remove for extension and how to disable for extension. So it's going to be a very simple tutorial on how you guys will be able to use um, this software so by default you will see nothing but these are for extensions that I have downloaded and if we have them activated um, then it will show up this tick over here so this means that it has been activated but I'm going to deactivate it by pressing come to this minus symbol now I'm going to go on to download so that way we'll be able to download some new extensions now if we, there's many ways that we can search up for different extensions you can scroll down we can search or I can sort by popularity, date, installed or upgradable. Um, but in my case, I'm going to be searching for it. It's sort of faster, but we can scroll for it as well. So when I'm going to activate, will be Wobbly Window. So now click, now go on to the search button, and now go into Wobbly Window, and now click on to install, and that should basically start installing Wobbly Window. If you see this tick, that means that's been installed already. Now go to manage and now to activate it, all you guys need to do is click onto it and now press onto a plus symbol and now that should have activated it. Uh, I have an error on here, something went wrong while loading Wobbly Window, make sure that we'll use it for latest version and report for issue to its developers. So now I'm going to check for any updates by click on to refresh. And basically, I think all I need to do is update it. Okay, so basically all I did was I went up here and then I click on to troubleshoot and I click on to restart cinnamon and that fit, I think that has fixed a problem for me. So now as you guys can see, now we have enabled wobbly windows. Um, but if we do see for error, please make sure it's up to date. Um, but if we're still having for error, then make sure we restart Cinnamon like I did, and that was how I was able to remove it. Um, but there's many other extensions that you guys can enable. There are so much, such as Cube, Desktop Cube. So it's basically complex, like animation rock space for switching, so we can install it. And I'll go to back to manage, and then we can activate it by doing by pressing on to plus, and then to control Alt. Um, I don't know how to activate it, uh, maybe it's in settings, um, but you guys be basically be able to do some desktop cubes, um, we can o um, blur overview, so for example if we do control alt down arrow, we can see it's not blurred, but if I go back and now if I activate it, then as you guys will see, now it has been blurred. So something like this basically, it's a very simple tool. Um, so I'm going to deactivate that, so that way that's not um, enabled, um, but as you guys can see, um, this is how guys will be able to change a few things. Um, if we totally want to do, we can do workspace scroller. So using okay, so we can install that. Uh, go back to manage, and we can obviously activate that. And now we can also go to, for example, cube. And now, as you guys can see, it will be something like this. So this is a way to allow you to basically switch to different um, windows. Oh, this is going to be very useful. We can add more. That's actually very useful. I'm going to keep this activated. <laughs> but but now I have like a bunch of um, workspaces opened. So yeah, now I need to see to restart Cinnamon, I guess. But that's how guys would be able to use extensions. I'm just going to deactivate it. Um, so that way guys can um, basically switch to different work, work, workspaces. Um, I hope that guys found this video very useful. Um, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.